everybody. It's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Um, I'm back from vacation and it's been almost three weeks since I've poured anything and I'm ready to get started. Happy to be started. It was a very nice vacation. Um, today I have a 16 by 20 gallery wrapped canvas. I've put down a, a layer of uh, Blickrick Mars Black and what I'm going to do is, uh, it's like a puddle pour and a dirty pour and a ring pour all in one. And while I was on vacation, I was able to watch a couple of artists. And this artist's name is Deborah Doherty. It's D-E-B-O-R-A-H. Doherty is D-O-U-G-H-E-R-T-Y. Um, I will put her name in the description. And if you get a chance, watch her channel. She does a lot of these type pours, and they're very interesting, and um, I really liked them. So let's get started. Um, I can go over my paints. Um, I am using the Blick Rick Mars Black. I'm using Amsterdam Prussian Blue, which this color, I just, I love this color. Um, I am using the Artist Law Flow Acrylic White. I'm using Folk Art Metallic uh, Silver Sterling. And I'm using, my last color is the Deco Art Metallic Rose Gold. So I've gone ahead, put my base coat down, and I've also layered the paints in my cups in uh in different order and um, I have them all here lined up so let's get started at first I'm going to um, just do a little ring pour And then I'll stop it. And I'll do another ring pour. And I'll stop that. And I might as well t uh, talk about my pouring medium, too, for a minute here. Um, it's two parts Floetrol, uh, one part Liquitex, Liquitex Gloss Medium, and one part Paint. I did add a squirt of GAC 800 into all my paints today. And I'll make another. circle here and stop it and another And I think I'll make one more here. I'll make this one a little smaller. Okay. And now what you do is you just add some black in the middle. plug in here and 
Can you let that sit a minute? You can add a little more paint in the middle here. Another little ring pour. Then you want to add more of the black. And you can add another ring pour. And now more of the black. Okay, and I am going to torch it. I did not use any silicone in my paints today. And now I'm going to do a little tipping here. just to distort it.
bring it back okay I'm just gonna let it sit here a minute take a look at it And I have some white. I'm going to just add a little bit of white in the middle here. And I think I'll add a little bit more black on that white. And now I'm going to use my little cups here. Just add another little ring pour in the middle. And a little more black. Okay, I'm just going to take my skewer here, see if I can fix this one up a little bit. And I'm going to add a little bit more to this one in the middle. And this one, I'll, I'll add a little more to all of them. Okay. And I will give it a torch. And I am not going to uh, tip this anymore. I'm going to leave it just like this. And I will let you know how it dries. Hopefully I will not get any um, raising or cracking and I will get you down for a close-up 
Again, this is a 16 by 20 gallery wrapped canvas. Puddle pour. And here is the upper left hand corner. I did leave a lot of negative space, which I wanted to do. Here's the lower left-hand corner. And I'm gonna take you up the middle here. I think it's very pretty the way these circles turned out. The lines, very pretty, crisp lines. This is the upper right hand corner here. Bring you in real close. Very nice. And we're coming down upon the lower right hand corner. You can see the just the glow and the shininess of those paints. Very pretty. Okay, let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Make sure you share it with other artists that you know that you think might like to watch this video. Um, subscribe if you haven't. Ring the bell and choose all so you'll know the next time that I do post a new video. I'm glad to be back, everybody. And until next time, take care. Bye for now.